this time on Sparks of Discovery. We explore the city of Gadsden in Etowah County. We'll start our tour as always in the historic downtown where we'll explore some of the great shops and restaurants on Broad Street and enjoy the local art scene at the Gadsden Museum of Art. From there, we'll make our way to the riverfront where we'll visit several public parks that Gadsden has along the banks of the Coosa River and Neely Henry Lake. Afterwards, we'll explore one of Alabama's most iconic natural wonders, Nakalula Falls. Finally, we'll finish our trip off in the northern end of Etowah County with a visit to the Sand Mountain Twin Drive-In, where we'll enjoy a movie under the stars. All this and more on Discovering Gets. I'm Jess. And this is Price. We're the Sparks. Welcome to Sparks of Discovery. Located 60 miles northeast of Birmingham on Interstate 59, Gadsden is home to over 33,000 people, with over 100,000 in the metro area. Gadsden is the county seat of Etowah County, which is the smallest county in Alabama. With over 100,000 people, Etowah County is one of the most densely populated counties in the state. Downtown Gadsden has seen a resurgence in recent years, with lots of focus by the city on renovating historic buildings and attracting new businesses. The result is that Gadsden now has one of the most charming and pleasant historic downtowns in Northeast Alabama. We really enjoyed exploring along Broad Street, the main avenue in downtown. We found several interesting and unique shops, including Taming of the UT and Yarn Shop, the Gadsden Variety Store, and a boutique called 1525. The Taming of the UT and Yarn Shop got our attention because of the cleverly worded name, but Price ended up buying some of the tea to take home after trying a sample. It was really good. The Gadsden Variety Store was a real treat as well, with all sorts of antiques and collectibles. It was hard to drag ourselves out of there. They even have a lunch counter. Jess loved 1525, where she found a cute blouse that she just couldn't live without. We were really impressed with the number and quality of shops in downtown Gadsden. There were plenty of specialty shops that catered to all sorts of people and interests. Everywhere we went, people were just so friendly and helpful, and you could just tell that the people here really love their town, which really makes all of the difference. We got ourselves some lunch at the Blackstone Pub and Eatery, which had some of the best pizza we've ever had. It was a really cool place to eat with a fun atmosphere and seriously great food. After stuffing our faces, we ventured down the street to the Gadsden Museum of Art. We honestly didn't know what to expect going in, but we were quickly impressed by the quality and size of this public art museum. The exhibits were interesting and thought-provoking, and they even had a neat history museum on the third floor dedicated to the history of Gadsden and Etowah County. With free admission, we definitely recommend a visit to the Gadsden Museum of Art. Next door, there's a children's museum called Imagination Place, which has rave reviews from parents and kids alike. Right beside Imagination Place is the Hardin Center for the Cultural Arts, which is home to the Chan Gallery, a 4,000 square foot art exhibition space. The coolest feature here though is the 72 foot long model railroad that showcases what the Gadsden area was like in the 1940s. Price loves model trains, so it was hard to drag him away from watching it all day. At the end of downtown overlooking the Coosa River, we found a neat little park beside the city hall where we sat down under the shade trees for a while. We really enjoyed exploring downtown Gadsden. Further down by the river, there's a unique historic venue, the Morton Glosser Amphitheater. This stone amphitheater was built in 1935 by the WPA, another of President Roosevelt's New Deal programs. Gadsden lies at the northern end of one of Alabama's many lakes, Neely Henry Lake. The lake wraps itself around a large part of the city, creating one of the more unique and interesting waterfronts in Alabama. Across the river from downtown, you'll find one of the newest public parks in Gadsden, the Riverwalk at Coosa Landing. 
This is home to a beautiful river walk that's nearly a mile long. This is a great new feature for Gadsden and we definitely recommend giving it a visit, especially early in the morning or the evening. Further down the riverfront, you'll find a couple of smaller parks, one of which is home to the City Splash Pad for children. The other is next to the popular RV resort called River Rocks Landing. The Jack L. Ray Family Park has a boat ramp and a small walking path winding through the trees next to the river. It seemed pretty popular for a small public park. The last of the major waterfront parks was probably our favorite one, the James D. Martin Wildlife Park. This is a huge park with a walking trail that stretches nearly three miles, including a section of boardwalk that ventures out over the lake and to an island where a number of different birds are known to nest making it popular with bird watchers. There are two entrances to the park. The main entrance is located near Black Creek with a second entrance next to the Gadsden Mall, which has a large dog park and recreational pavilions. We really enjoyed this park with its unique scenery and wildlife is absolutely worth exploring. On the north side of Gadsden, you'll find the most famous Gadsden landmark, Nakalula Falls. Just outside the entrance to the falls, there is an interesting war memorial park dedicated to the military veterans of Etowah County. It has several static displays of military equipment and some interesting military memorabilia in a small museum display. Nakalula Falls is Gadsden's crown jewel, bringing in visitors from far and wide to take in the breathtaking waterfall and the natural wonders of the Black Creek Gorge. At over 90 feet tall, this is one of the tallest waterfalls in Alabama. Above the falls, you can peer down into the gorge and view the waterfall from above. This is where you'll find the statue of the Native American princess, Nakalula, who according to legend jumped from the top of the falls rather than being forced by her father, the chief, to marry a man from another tribe instead of her true love. The area above the falls is free to the public, but the best views lie down below the falls in the gorge. There is a ton to explore inside the park aside from the waterfall itself. We took our time and enjoyed all of the great features here. There is a botanical garden with some beautiful landscaping and a large koi pond beside a classic covered bridge. There are also some fun rock formations that you can squeeze through and explore in this part of the park. Just down from the Botanical Garden, you'll find a pioneer village, with buildings from the 1700s to 1800s, completely furnished as they would have been in those days. Past the pioneer village, there is a small zoo area with a handful of animal exhibits. Although several of the exhibits seemed to be empty for some reason, the animals that were on display were very active and friendly, and it was a great added bonus to the park. After we explored everything on the top side of the falls, we made our way down into the ravine via the gorge trail. If seeing Nakalula Falls from above wasn't enough, you can hike down into the gorge behind the waterfall for a more spectacular perspective. From here, you can sit and revel in nature while listening to the roar of the falls. Once you have worked your way around the cavern, the trail will take you down to the creek where you can swim and enjoy the water below the falls. We really enjoyed cooling off with a swim, although the water was surprisingly cool for the summertime. Afterwards, we hiked the rest of the gorge trail, which falls along the creek through the gorge with all of the beautiful rock formations and rushing water. At the end, you'll cross a wooden suspension bridge over the creek before working back up the opposite bank towards the trail entrance. Nakalula Falls is a magical and breathtaking place to escape into nature. We really couldn't recommend it more as it's now one of our absolute favorite places in Alabama. On the northern edge of Etowah County, you'll find the Sand Mountain Twin Drive-In. With two screens playing a double feature, you just make your choice of which side you want to pull into and then pay the $15 fee per car, which is a real bargain for two movies. The concessions were very reasonably priced as well. The drive-in experience was truly special. With the stars shining and the fireflies flying by, it was a classic summertime experience. We highly recommend it. From the shining waters of the Coosa River, 
to the historic downtown with its specialty shops and tasty food. To the breathtaking natural wonder of Nakalula Falls. The city of Gadsden is home to some of Alabama's most interesting and unique places.